Happy Fush Knot. Merry Fush Knot. Hooray. Uh, welcome to our ninth Fush Knot of the year. So uh, we've been actually doing these all day. And now we're here on a private server. Uh, me and three other friends. Uh, there is a fourth person here not on the team because they might have to leave early. Uh, but I just wanted to go over some of uh, my personal tips for enjoying Foster Knot if it is your first time. Uh, so one tip is make sure you're looking at your quest in the corner uh, of the of your screen. Uh, so it's going to tell you what to do. Um, the first thing to do is to find find all the robots. There are several locations where they can be. Uh, they're usually in the in the buildings here around Helvetia, except for the music maker, and he'll be on the stage, and <laughs> the merry woodsman who is over by the church, as you just seen me go to. Uh, so once you find all five, or as soon as you find one, and they're going to ask you to to do something, collect something for them, uh, so you can start collecting, or <laughs> you can just uh, run around and try to find the others. Uh, but you want to find all five. So, one of the th tips that I have for somebody in their very first Fosh Knot is look at your, uh, your questing in the corner and run around this town. Just, just run around the town. If it is your first Fosh Knot, run around the town. Uh, if you don't complete any of the quest markers, that is fine. But tip number one is just run around, have fun, and get familiar with Helvetia. Uh, and that will come in handy for your next Fosh Knot. And every time you do this, uh, you'll learn more and more. So if it is your very first one, that is my number one tip is just look at the quest markers, run around, try to find everything. <laughs> and and have fun doing it. Explore. Explore this little town. Um, this, is a, this is such a crazy event. It, it's chaotic. It is wild and it is fun. And trust me, it'll be covered. So if you're running around and just having fun and looking for stuff, you can loot. Uh, you can... <laughs> Uh, just check out the buildings. Just just run around. Explore Helvetia. Uh, so we are running around following our little markers and trying to find all the robots and gather the stuff that they ask for. So they'll ask for um, different items. <laughs> and it's all found uh, within the town. So it's all self-contained. Uh, but like I said, run around and have fun. So that is... Um, my first uh, tip for you is run around and have fun. <laughs> uh, another tip uh, is uh, perk cards. Perk cards can be helpful for Helvetia if you want to like be able to finish it faster. So there's a couple useful ones. Um, Woodchucker, Butcher's Bounty, and Friendly Fire. Uh, those are the three that I would uh, suggest. And they don't have to be completely perked out for you uh, but if you have them on uh, woodchucker will help you gather wood faster butcher's bounty will help you gather intestines faster and friendly fire will uh, give you the ability to restore health to your robots when you protect them in the parade <laughs> so that is my next tip is um, look at your perk cards <laughs> Okay, on to the next. Uh, so once you find all the robots, do all their things, they'll take a minute to assemble. So while they're assembling, like I said, you can run around, you can explore the town. But once you get to this point where it says prepare for the parade begin, um, you want to start uh, preparing for the parade. So when they march uh, through the town and they don't march very fast, there's going to be a couple instances where they get attacked and you have to protect the, 
the marchers. So when it says prepare for the parade, my next tip is uh, just to make sure you wrap up kind of your whatever you're exploring at that point. So you can just follow them on the parade march so you can get familiar with the route that they take and the spots that they get attacked. And we're getting ready to show you that because we're getting ready to do our parade march. Here we are. It's like I said, we've been, uh, this is our ninth one. Uh, we've done um, eight others in public servers. And this one in a private one, just us. Uh, so we could just uh, goof off and have a lot of fun uh, and most of these tips were I'm not even uh, following myself because I don't, I don't think I even have any of these park cars equipped um, but what I do have equipped uh, is the friendly fire uh, I usually keep that one equipped uh, and if it's your first fosh knot if you're lower level and that's the only perk that you have that you can equip is friendly fire uh, that one I suggest. Uh, that's a good perk card uh, just to have standard and you don't have to have it completely perked out. Um, friendly Fire 1 will do. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> here we go. Uh, we're going to start the braid. <laughs> uh, so, uh, like I said, we've been, uh, we've been doing this for a while. Uh, we've been having lots of fun. <laughs> uh, and uh, we've been getting a lot of rewards so another um, tip I have for Foshnot is if you have uh, a group of friends that you play with on the server um, trade your plans you'll get plans at the end of this so trade them for the ones that you don't have right now uh, you're going to collect a lot of the Foshnot plans through the event so Go ahead and be generous, and if you already have one of the plans, uh, trade it for one that you don't have, or if you have a, you know, a buddy or anything, just uh, give him the plans that you've learned that he doesn't know, and you're going to collect more. Uh, so, we're getting into another tip for Foshnot. Uh, it, they're going to be attacked once they get to this corner and there is a musical cue. The music kind of speeds up when the attack starts. <laughs> and uh, this particular spot here, they're going to get attacked by rad toads. So the rad toads will, will spawn and come for your robots around. So there's a couple places you can see where I'm looking. These are the places they kind of spawn. And... Um, <laughs> so we're going to get into Todd's tip for Foshnot is artillery. <laughs> uh, so if you have a smaller number of people in Foshnot and you want to make sure you protect your robots, if that person has a camp that's close by that has some artillery, uh, they can <laughs> take care of some of the enemies for you. And you get to concentrate on other areas. <laughs> After all, would Fosh not be any fun without a few explosions? What do you think, Todd? <laughs> right? No fun without some explosions. <laughs> oh, so, uh, the marchers are going to continue down the path. And here we go. And the next enemy that you're going to encounter are super mutants. So, my next tip is whatever guns you carry in um, make sure that you can do some damage to super mutants and another good perk here would be um, <laughs> concentrated fire uh, with concentrated fire you can focus on limbs and if you cripple the super mutants legs they can't get to your robots as quickly and it gives you a little bit more time to take them out if you need that time um, otherwise and they will spawn all around. So they'll go all around. And if you're a batch user, um, before the robot's tempo changes, uh, you might want to use your vats and take out all the little squirrels and rabbits because that'll mess up your, um, your vats lock-ons. Um, so I am not always a vats user. So 
Uh, I don't worry about that, but if uh, I am using vats and I'll lock on, I'll just go ahead and, and take out the squirrel or rabbit or whatever it's locking on to. Um. <laughs> uh, also, you know, uh, there's this nice little cutout there. So uh, once Fosh Knot's over, you and your friends can pose for a great picture. <laughs> so, um there's that one uh but with the super mutants um the thing is uh you have a couple people concentrating on taking them out and you can have somebody else that has a flame weapon or uh, if you don't have a flame weapon and you do have friendly fire you can use molotov cocktails to which one todd which one ah need some help that one okay perfect uh, if you have uh, Molotov cocktails, you can throw the cocktail at the robot and that will do the same thing because a Molotov cocktail is a flame weapon. So that would be another tip. Uh, if you don't have a flame weapon, use a Molotov cocktail. Make sure you have a couple of those. And if you need to get a couple and you can't make the Molotov cocktails, you can get those at uh, Sunday Brothers Cabin where Munchon Jamboree takes place. There's always about 30 around there, so you can go and pick up five or six uh, just for this event. <laughs> and here they are. They're coming back to where they started from. And the next thing that's going to pop up is uh, the Mega Sloth and some insects and wolves. So everything is going to attack your robots uh, you do want to take out the Mega Sloth, and you do want to get make sure the wolves, because the wolves really can mess up your robots quickly. I don't like wolves either, Todd. Um, so we want to make sure that we are protecting our robots, so we can get uh, <laughs> get full rewards. You want to finish your Fosh Knot with all five robots uh, in good health. <laughs> So, uh, as you see here, I am, um, I concentrated on taking out some of the smaller enemies, um, and we just let, we went ahead and let the sloth spawn and move closer so we could take care of it, because if we're too spread out, we couldn't, uh, protect these guys that well. And before you end in Fosha, you can, um, make sure your robots are, more full health with your molotovs your flame weapons but the key is all five finish um with good health and then at the very end our master of ceremonies is going to come over and we are going to say boo to old man winter and <laughs> start spring so we want to light uh, our bonfire and to light that when he is finished with what he needs to say you just walk up to it and press A. So, there we go. We have our ninth Fosh Knot in the books. And it's been such a wild and crazy fun day hanging out with, uh, with friends. It is everything that I hoped it would be. It's been a great, great Fosh Knot. We've had a great time. Um, and the other thing a lot of people are... Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> what happened there um, a lot of people are into is uh, these masks and trading masks so a lot of people will you'll see a lot of people standing around putting on their mask looking at each other and maybe even offering trades and if this is your very very first Fosh Knot and you're not familiar with the event I my recommendation will be hang on to your masks until you find out if they're really rare or something because you don't want to get rid of a mask and then find out later on that it's such a rare drop you might not get it again so hang on to them uh unless this is not your thing if you're not a collector then go ahead and trade but uh yeah, we get to show off our mask. Uh, we've had fun. We've traded uh, some that we've got duplicates of. And so this is this is how I did. This is my mask collection. 
uh, from my first day at Foshnot. So we got those in the first hours. Um, these, <laughs> of course, you're going to get the little beret. Um, these two and uh, the one that I am currently wearing. And there's my uh, sloth companion at my camp, Samson. Uh, but I also got the Scorch Beast Queen. Um, <laughs> so really liking the new mask this year. Uh, we're having fun at Foshnot. So everybody, make sure you have fun. <laughs> there we go. I was trying to get it with the animation. But yeah, just make sure you have fun at Foshnot. Number one, just have fun. Uh, it's a great, a great time to try out some new weapons too if you're um, especially if you're a lower level and it's a great time to get some pictures and <laughs> it's just great fun so how did you do it your first fall shot did you get a mask that you wanted uh, did you <laughs> did you find it chaotic and didn't know where anything was or where to go <laughs> so how did you do let me know in the comments have a great day everybody